Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all like and subscribe as well. So today's episode, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to basically teach your dog its name, but listen to each and every name. So I have Roxy and Remy here with me right now. And what I'm trying to do in this video is basically have one dog listen to me and the other one stay. So I have treats and I have a toy and I do have my camera and stuff set up on me and everything. Uh, there's a bunch of distractions. There's a lot of things going on. So this is perfect and it's going to help me a lot, especially with having two dogs because listening to their name is really, really important, especially when you got a recall or anything and such. So right now I'm getting them real acclimated with the toy. I'm trying to get them to play with it. So that'll be my object of them to be able to go and go get. So I'm going to have one dog stay with me. And I'm going to have the other leave out and they're going to go and get the toy and bring it back to me. So as I throw the toy, I'm going to send out Roxy and or Remy. So I send out Remy first. I'm going to hold Roxy and it's tedious. It's very tedious, but I'm showing you how I do it as training goes and it's not always perfect. Um, so this is an example of showing that things are not my always perfect they might not get it on the first try but you keep trying and keep trying but eventually they'll get it and make sure i reward them tell her to bring it back instead of saying stuff like good girl i chose to clap and then told her to bring it back by calling her name bring it back roxy and it's been helping me out tremendously with listening to them and so i have her here she's there she's like good i tell remy to get out and she goes and i try to get her to stay and i distracted her with a treat so Roxy's eating a treat while Remy went to go. And now Remy wants to go because she knows she, there's a reward right after. So I, all right, cool. I'll let her sit down and go. Now I'm going to try to let them go without even putting my hands on them. And they're doing a fantastic job. Roxy brings it directly back, put it in my hand. I'm going to make her go and replace Remy and send Remy out. And as she did a fantastic job, boom, there she goes. And I send Remy, boom. And little Remy only wants to treat. I'm like, go get it, go get it, go get it. But she's doing really well. So I'm making sure that carries her. And then she gets her treat in the end. Make sure she sits down. Uh, those are my neighbors back there. They keep walking in and out. But they're doing fantastic. And um, I'm going to get Roxy and Rem one more time. I'm trying to get Rox. Rox is like not listening. So I'm trying to get her to be even more acclimated. I do have the treats like all over to the side. So I'm like, all right, cool. As I sit there, I distract Rox with a treat and I get Remy to bring me the toy, which is absolutely perfect. This is absolutely perfect for everything and getting them to certain their name and there's distractions going on. Um, they're listening to me. They're focused on me, which is actually, actually really, really good. And I have Rox right here. Our tail is wagging. She's more engaged with me now. Um, Rox have been struggling a little bit with engagement. Um, and so... This is a really good sign that she's improving, and I love that. She's going to go and get the toy and bring it back as well. She's doing it with encouragement. I'm trying to be more encouraging with her so she can be happier and we can do better videos as well. Um, but this is how I teach my dogs, and this is how I train my dogs. Uh, this is something that you could possibly even learn from. I hope that, that you can learn something from this video. Um, but I'm basically, like I said, I'm doing it one at a time. I get her. I call Remy name. I'm like, cool. And I give Roxy a treat and Roxy stays. So this is how exactly I've been able to teach them. Um, this is very important for when I'm going out on adventures and I'm outside. And I'm like, all right, Rox, go get it. And Rox will only leave and Remy will stay. And I love that because it gives them freedom. They don't feel like they have to do everything together. Um, I let them go and explore and do everything on their own. But yeah, this is exactly how I do it. Um, I appreciate y'all watching, man. It means so much. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and we'll talk to y'all later. Peace out.